What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a floating bed with just some simple 2x8s and 2x4s. This is just going to be kind of like the basic um, basics of the bed. You guys can add your own twist like I'm going to. Um, just depends on how you guys kind of want to build it. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what it's going to look like or what I'm trying to go for. And kind of add some little quirky features to it. It'll be kind of cool. Um, but other than that, it's pretty pretty simple. Pretty much anybody can build it if you gotta drill some screws and some two by fours and two by eights. So let's get started. So first off, you're gonna wanna go ahead and design your own little platform. Um, you can kind of do it in many ways, but simplest and a uh, like sturdiest ways right here. Depending on the size of your bed and what you're going for, I'm doing 65 by 60 inches. That'll be like the middle part that you can't really see, so it doesn't have to look the prettiest, but that's how you debate on um, what height you want. Like I went with a 2x8, you can also do a 2x10, that might be a little bit higher. Just depends on what you guys want. But other than that, this is my design for the actual platform of the bed. I'm going to have bed slats going in between, but uh, I haven't bought that stuff yet. And the headboard in the background. But uh, other than that, that's the design. That's what we're going to be building to start off with, the 65 by 60 inch little area, but uh, let's get started. Now, you don't have to have your own cutting station at home, but uh, I've got my miter saw, so we're going to go ahead and use this, but you can also get your wood cut at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I know for sure that Home Depot does it, and they'll do as many as you want, but uh, they won't be the most exact cuts, but that's why I chose to go ahead and bring them home. And cut it myself. Alright, so I got all these pieces of wood cut out 60 inches, 60 inches, 65 inches. These will be the side. These two are the good pieces for the front. These are the supports in the middle. And I'm going to use the scrap from those to create little brace beams in the middle. So it'll all be secure. It won't be going anywhere. So now what I've been doing is just going ahead and piping two screws into each one of these little side pieces. Uh, these are the 60s in the middle. And the 65s are on the outside. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and measure out these brace beams so there's three even ones in the middle of this. After that then we'll go ahead and do the little secondary brace beams. We should be done with the base. So I'm actually just going to do two little brace beams, primary ones. Um, I got it marked at 22 and 44 inches. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, just as long as it's going to be close to it and not noticeable to the eye. But uh. Got these little marked out, right? These little marks right here. Line them up right there. Do the same thing on the other side and pipe two screws in the side of it. it kind of seems weird, but I'm using deck screws for this. They got the shallow head on them, plus they're tan, so it kind of matches that a little bit better. But I just always use deck screws for wood projects. So used to, I just picked them up at Home Depot. But um, yeah, they work really well. Three inches, so it gets through everything keep everything intact but uh yeah so I got that all done it's all nice and sturdy it's not going anywhere um, it's really heavy too so it's gonna be a bitch to move but yeah we're gonna get in. now I'm gonna go ahead and get started cutting out those brace beams we'll get to screwing those in so here's the frame I'll put together that's what this is our levitation device. You won't actually be able to see this whenever the bed's on the ground, but I might as well go ahead and paint it black. Um, we'll do that in the next video, but I'll have my girlfriend do it or something. But uh, anyway, just to make it a little more hidden, paint it black on the edges. Front won't really matter, either with the brace beams, but uh, yeah, black will look really good. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out our 80 inch. I've already got one of them cut out right there. 80 inch 2x4s and our 76 inch 2x4s. <laughs> Here's it all cut out. 80s are on the sides, right there. They're not connected or anything yet, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw them in and we'll start doing the framing. I've got my bed slats slash uh, support braces all where they're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and mark them up and screw them in. So I got all the slats slash uh, support beams in there. Kind of doubling up on them, but uh, it's not going anywhere. Pretty solid, but I'm um, gonna actually have to go to Home Depot again, get some more like two by eights or something, and put them from the bottom part to right on the other side, just so I have something where to mount that up to the levitation, which I'm gonna call it. But uh, other than that, we're almost done. We just gotta do some painting and put the mattress on top. But uh, it's gonna be a king size bed, so it's 76 by 80. It's gonna fit perfectly on top of this, so I'll catch you guys whenever I'm mount them up. Anyways, that's where we're gonna end it for today. So just wait for the next video to uh, see how we finish up. It's gonna be pretty sweet whenever we're done. It'll all come together, and you guys are see what I'm talking about whenever I'm all done with it. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned.